In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Direct Access VPN and do that with VirtualBox. So we're going to need our domain controller running, 2012 domain controller. And we're also going to need a new 2012 uh, URA server. So that stands for Universal Remote Access. So let's start by going to Settings before we power it up. We've already installed the 2012 R2 OS. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. And now we're going to go to where it says Network. So in the first adapter, uh, we've got that set to the internal network and everything is the same as it was in previous labs. So we don't really make any changes to that. Now we add a second adapter though. We click Enable Network Adapter and we're going to create a new name which you can just type in. It's called URA Test Network. And again, leave everything else just as it is. Go ahead and click OK and now we're ready to power it up. All right, let's log in and do all the usual setup things. Should only take a couple of minutes. I've already gone ahead and joined the computer to the domain. And I've set up the network IP settings as per our lab. But we will just confirm that. Of course, you also want to insert, insert the guest editions see the image and then install the guest editions and again I've already done this prior to starting this video so it'll save you a little bit of time all right so let's go ahead and go to our network settings and just make sure they're set up the way they're supposed to be So we see two connections, Ethernet and Ethernet 2. So Ethernet is going to be our first adapter. And we just want to make sure that we have this set to 192.168.0.13, subnet mask, and then of course our preferred DNS server as well. And our gateway is going to be the same. All right, let's take a look at IP version 6. Now, in IP version 6, we're going to want to put in the address 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon colon 13 with a subnet prefix length of 64. We don't need a default gateway, and our preferred DNS server is the dot .5, which again is DC01. So let's go ahead and go over to Ethernet 2. And all we're going to do on this one is to set up the IP version 4 address. So it should be 131.107.0.2 and then the 24-bit subnet mask. No gateway, no DNS server. All right, we are ready to move on. So now we gotta need to go over to DC01 and we need to update the information on that server. All right, so let's go to our control panel and then network. You can get to network settings in multiple ways. It's up to you and how you do it. Change adapter settings. And we only have one network card on DC01, of course. And so let's take a look at our version 6 address. We're going to want to make it 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon colon 5 which is what the DNS server is set to on the URA server so it looks back to this particular server and of course we want to do the 64 length and we want to do uh, our gateway is dot 13 so we're going to choose the IP address of the other server 2001 colon 
to get out to the rest of the world. And our DNS server is going to be the same as itself. So go ahead and click OK. Click OK. So now URA server is pointed to D, uh, DC01 for DNS, and DC01 is pointed to the URA server to get out to the internet. Let's go back to our URA server, and we are going to add a role. And it's going to be remote access. Make sure you've already called your server URA server. If you haven't, uh, go ahead and rename it, join it to the domain, and then come back to this one spot. All right, so now we want to add the remote access role. So let's go ahead and click on remote access and click next. And here's our features. We're just going to leave as is next. So we want to choose the uh, correct option, which is direct access and VPN. Click next and install. Okay, it's all set, and we also want to make sure that IIS is installed, which is the Internet Information Services, which it is in my case, uh, which I had done previously. So if you don't see that there, then just go back to the Add Roles, and then go back and make sure that Web Server with the Web Server box checked is installed. Let's go ahead and open up in Server Manager the uh, Active Directory Users and Computers in, of course, DC01. There we go. And let's go into Server Manager, Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Now let's go ahead and click on the Users Container and right-click anywhere on the right-hand side and choose New Group. And the name of our group is going to be Direct Access. Clients Global Group. Click OK. We are in our URA server. Let's go ahead and log in. Oops, let's go to widget lc backslash administrator. If you log in as the local user, none of this will work. So make sure you're logged in as the widget LLC administrator. And that means that the server has to be joined to the domain first. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do that. All right, so we are going to go to Tools. And we're going to go to Routing and Remote Access. Pardon me, actually, Remote Access Management. That's a different program. Let's click the Run the Getting Started Wizard and choose Deploy Direct Access Only. Choose Edge at the top. Type in URA Server dot Widget LLC dot Internal. Next. All right, and now we're going to click the Here link to do some additional configuration. If you missed that, you can still get to it later but it's easier if you do it right now so we're going to uh, next to the remote clients we're going to click change all right we're going to click add and we're going to add that group that we did earlier the direct access clients gg Let's see here i think we have space there that's it click OK remove the domain computers just highlight and click remove and we're going to uncheck for mobile computers only because we're actually going to be doing what's considered to be a desktop and next and then we'll go ahead and click finish All right, now we're going to scroll down the list because you can't see it unless you do. And we'll see infrastructure servers. 
and we'll go ahead and change that. Change the DNS address to the dot five. And we do that by double clicking. And then we can delete 13, change it with five, click apply. All right, now we can click finish. And we can click OK. And we click finish. And this could take a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And we see that almost everything is green. Just a little one warning, which isn't too bad. So it's looking pretty good. So make sure you click on the operation status and then refresh and then we'll see what we have. We have a couple things with question marks. That's okay. We can also go in and paste in the command. You can paste in the command from the lab. So basically you just copy this command and then you paste it into here. Make sure that under devices, uh, shared clipboard, it's set to bi-directional so you can paste between the two. Then you just go ahead and hit enter. And now we're seeing green lights across the board. So everything is looking good. All right, on the uh, tools menu, we're going to choose group policy management in server manager. Again, we are on uh, the URA server. And we're going to expand widget LLC, domains, widget LLC internal, and group policy objects. You can see here that there are two different direct access uh, group policy objects that are created when we install direct access. One is for the client and one is for the server. And now that that's done, this leads right into our next lab, which is lab eight, which will complete the series from six through eight.